Hi everybody, today we're going to build a model electrical circuit and show how a switch interrupts the flow of electricity from the battery to the load and we're going to use Scratch to create this demonstration. And hey, if you're new to coding or you need a refresher, please check out my YouTube channel where you can find a number of uh, instructional videos to teach you uh, how to code and get you up to speed pretty quickly. Um, if you do go to my page, please subscribe and follow me so that you can see all of the new uh, instructional videos that I have coming out. Anyways, I'm going to go to Scratch now and I'm going to hit the Create button because we're going to be creating something new. If a tutorial happens to pop up, uh, just delete that tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also delete the cat, so I'm going to click on the garbage can and say goodbye to the cat. You are going to need to get a whole bunch of sprites for this demonstration today. And just let me show you what it looks like one more time. You're going to have a battery, you're going to have all these wires, you're going to have a load, which is a ball, it'll be the lamp and, and a number of things like that. So I'm going to start collecting all of my different sprites. I'm going to go down here and the first one I'm going to get is the battery. It's this button and I'm just going to turn the button. Watch how I do that. I'm going to go to direction and I'm going to turn it like this so it's upright. Perfect. And if you can't get it just right, you can always put in a number. So zero will make it go up and down just perfectly. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to add a plus and a negative uh, to the button to show the positive and negative end. So I'm just going to go to the costumes. I'm going to get um, a line. I'm going to make it a black line because it goes nicely with this color. There we go. And click on line. And here I'm going to make the negative end. And I'm going to make the positive right there like that. Wonderful. There we go. So there's that. Now I need to get a whole bunch of uh, a sprite called a paddle. So I'm going to go down here because it looks like electrical wire sort of. Paddle, paddle right there. Perfect. Some of these I may have to change direction as well and um, to create my circuit, I'm going to go get another paddle. So I'm going to spend the next few minutes getting a whole bunch of paddles. Some of them I'm going to have to turn. And then, of course, I'm going to have to move them all into uh, the right position and create my circuit. So I'm going to start doing that now and start building my circuit. And what we want it to do is to look something like this circuit right there. Okay, I'm also going to get a ball sprite, which looks like a lamp to me, and I'm going to change the color of the backdrop to black. So look how I changed the color of the backdrop. I'm going to go to backdrops right here. I'm going to choose this plain blue sky one right there, and I'm just going to go to the costumes of the backdrop, and I'm going to change it to a black color because it stands out really nicely. So I'm going to get the bucket, fill it black, and click like that. Wonderful. Now I'm going to go back to my paddles, go get more sprites, go get the ball, and continue to build my circuit. So I'm just going to pause for a minute. And uh, while I'm doing that, you might want to also go get all of the different sprites you need. Okay, I'm almost complete. My completed my electrical circuit. I'm just going to put my light bulb right there on the electrical circuit. Now I'm going to finish with another paddle right here. I want to complete my electrical circuit. So I'm going to go down and get a paddle and turn this paddle um, into one that works with my electrical switch. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get this paddle. I'm going to go to the costumes. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit. I'm going to grab the arrow button there. I'm going to click on it and get that little arrow down there, the round arrow, and I'm going to turn it so that it's straight up and down or as close as I can get. A little bit more maybe. And then I'm going to put the bottom of the paddle on the center point of the screen. Do you see the center point appears there? I'm going to put it right like that. So there's paddle one, ready to be my on and off switch. Now I'm going to duplicate the same paddle. And this one I'm just going to turn um like that but i'm going to also line it up on the center point right there you see the center point down there so now look on off on off okay so i'm just going to move this one over there and now i can turn it on and off on and off but I need a switch to turn that on and off. So I'm going to go down and get a button. So I'm going to go down there. I'm going to get the blue button this time. I like the blue one. And I'm going to get a second blue one, another one. And it's going to move them down here. 
this one is going to be my on switch right there so look I'm going to go right on it I'm going to go to the costumes I'm going to get a text I'm going to make it a dark color so it looks good on the blue and I'm going to write on there we go I'm just going to center it I'm going to do the same for the next one I'm going to turn this one uh, into the off button off I'm going to center that one there we go now we're going to code it so that these buttons when they're clicked they're going to turn the switch on and off watch how I do that I'm going to start with the on button first on right there now when anyone clicks this button it's going to send a message so watch how I code that and I think we've learned this in many games like Drive, Goldfish Tag, and Super Scroller. Uh, so I hope it's not too difficult. So when this sprite is clicked, it's going to make it larger so you can see. When this blue on button is clicked, when this sprite is clicked, it's going to yell a message. It's going to yell on. So I'm going to go get uh, broadcast right there. Now I want to broadcast a new message. It's going to broadcast on. Good. So when anyone clicks this button, the computer is going to yell on. But of course, it's a computer, so it does it silently. You won't hear it, but the computer will know. Now I'm going to code this one, the off button. When anyone clicks that sprite, it's going to broadcast another message. And this message is going to be off. Watch how I do that. Uh, new message. Off. Done. That's the coding done for these buttons. That's it. So when someone clicks this one, it yells on. When someone clicks this one, the computer yells off. So now I'm going to go to this one here. And let's do the costumes. Costume paddle is the straight up and down. And paddle two is uh, off to on an angle. So now when I receive a message, when I receive the message on, Switch to costume paddle. That was a straight up and down one. So when someone clicks on, the computer is going to yell on. And then this switch is going to yell, or it's going to hear the word on, and it's going to switch to costume paddle, regular paddle. Uh, one more time. When I receive off, when I receive off, switch to costume paddle too. And I'm almost done. You're being uh, uh, very uh, 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 helpful here. Thank you. Switch to paddle two. Let's try this already. On, off. On, off. Wonderful. Wasn't that much coding actually. When this sprite is clicked, broadcast on. When this sprite is clicked, broadcast off. And this one receives those messages. When I receive on, I go to the paddle costume. When I receive off, I go to paddle two costume. So that is the next part. Now let's change the brightness of the light bulb. So when the electrical circuit is complete and when the switch is uh, closed, it's very bright. When the switch is open and the electrical circus circuit is incomplete, it is dark. So watch how I do that. I'm gonna go to the ball and it's gonna receive messages as well. So I'm gonna go to the events. Um, when I receive off. When I receive the off message, I'm going to make it go quite dark. So look how I do that. I'm going to go to the looks. I'm going to set the color effect. But I'm not going to use color. I'm going to use the brightness. Brightness. So when I receive off, I'm going to set the brightness to negative 50. It's going to be quite dark. So when someone clicks that off button, it yells off. This will go quite dark. The brightness is going to go to negative 50. I'm going to do the on now. So when I receive on... When I receive on, we're going to set the brightness to, let's say, 20. I don't want to be too bright. Set brightness to 20. Let's just test this out now. Ready? Green flag. On. Ooh, nice and bright. Look at that. It's nice and closed. Off. That's open now. The electrical circuit isn't complete. And look how dark that is. On. Off. On. Off. Last thing we need to do, we need to label the different parts of our electrical circuit. So look how I'm going to do that. I'm going to go down to the Sprite button there, and I'm going to click on the paintbrush. 
to do some writing. So paintbrush, I'm going to click on the T for text. I'm going to choose a color that works nicely with our backdrop, and I think a nice bright orange works really well. So I'm going to go get a nice orange. There we go. And I'm going to grab a font that looks kind of electrical. Marker works or curly. I like pixel, so I'm going to choose pixel. And I'm going to write down here, electric, electrical circuit. There we go. So now I've labeled it as an electrical circuit. And I'm going to put that in there. You can put it wherever you want. And you should keep labeling different parts of this circuit. So you can label the switches, you can label the load, which is our light bulb, you can label the electrical power supply, which is the battery, and make sure that everything uh, is explained in detail for your teacher. If you'd like to extend the project, you can turn this into a parallel circuit by adding more paddles here, another switch, another light bulb, and uh, continue on like that. So I hope you enjoyed that one. That is the end of our electrical circuit demonstration. Thank you.